You start wildly swinging, tripping people. Yeah, there yes. you go. Yeah. Damn. Oh, damn. With the spear. For the top rope, JR. Hey, hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Tokyo Revengers starting now. Yo, oh, what's going on guys? Rock to Lee. I don't know. Direct and nasty. Jump into Tokyo Revengers, man. Last episode. Uh, we had the homie Takimichi really, really, really come through, you know, giving people hope. Basically, by get yes, he did by oh, getting yeah, yeah. by getting beat down enough yeah. and still getting back up. Everyone else was like, "Yeah, I will not be the one." To I will not be the one to call Yo, for this guy. Sometimes that's exactly what you need, bro. Do you know how many people have motivated my life? That the moment you see me pass you, it's like, oh hell no! I didn't know how <laughs> no! The record did not just run past me. I didn't know it. <laughs> oh yeah, if there's any motivation. It's when you see the person who's supposed to be being last coming by you, and you're like, oh hell no, you always get that little that little burst of energy. Cause sometimes there's always one person like, I'm not losing to that person. As long as I beat, everybody has that mindset. As long as they beat them, yeah. I'm good. Usually I was a them, but I have my own them. Yo, Takamichi's is there then. He's like, nah, there's no way to cry, baby hero. It's coming through windmill punch. Yeah, and, yeah. and I'm losing that a windmill punch. Yeah. He even hit nothing. Not even not even pretty hands, man. He was missing Just, the air, bro. He was missing the air. He was basically saying anything in my path, I'm gonna destroy. I respect that energy. <laughs> but if you're not in my path, you we got no problem. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you made me start. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Mikey, you know, tried to give Kaz. I didn't want to say try, but he was like, he's he like, gave. To don't say try. He, he gave. Him, well, he, bro. he's well, he, trying to understand. He, he was trying to understand. Grace. He gave him grace. And then after he, after that battle, or while that battle was going on, he was like, "Good word. Like that's your crazy thought. This is this is my fault somehow. This All is right, it. Because we, the viewers, had the perspective, but Mikey didn't have the perspective that we had. So now Mikey is finally got the complete story, and just absolutely bodied this man with the kick. Yo, that kick. He's like, all right, that's enough. Like, he had enough of the... He was just letting them hit him. He was just trying to get the understanding. Yeah, because like, Once he confused. realized, no, you're just crazy. I'm done. Like, that's when he was like, all right. That was Mikey's version. Now I'm going to beat you guys up. Of talk no jutsu. To take, to get beat up. He's like, yes, beat me up. This is my talk no jutsu. Just beat me up. Let it all out, baby boo. Come here. Yeah. I'm here for you. And then tell me what's wrong. It's he got like, hit with the pipe a couple times. And that man was still just like yeah. trying to talk. Bro, my brain is like vibrating in my head just thinking about those those pipe hits, man. I think I think at the pretty much as as this series is solidified, man, it's gonna be these kickers, and there's gonna be Rock Lee, there's gonna be Sanji, and definitely Mikey's just gonna be in this group, man. <laughs> He's definitely gonna be in this group. All legs. I'm telling you, man. So hey, are right, we gonna jump into this reaction, guys? If you guys aren't subscribed, now's a good time to do so. Full reaction, full discussion. It's gonna be on our Patreon. Also, check out our schedule. It's in the description and the pinned comment. You don't wanna miss it. Hit the bell for notifications. Cause we post content daily, and you don't wanna catch a backhand from us. All right, let's jump into Tokyo Revenge. Just starting now. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And Mikey fighting at a handicap. This is the one. I thought he was dead, bro. It's very hard to watch. I know he's gonna be all right, but <sighs> he hit him several times. This is beautiful. Cause he's like still on his yes. arm. Wonderful moment, bro. My man's hamstrings. Yo, <laughs> that grappler. Legitimately. Imagine you have a two-on-one advantage in every way and y'all get bodied like this, bro. They hit my man like five times with a pipe and Mikey hit him with one, one kick. kick. He just swung the other guy. He didn't even... I don't even know Mikey's still home, bro. Nah, he, they be doing the eyes. Cause he had to kick his homie. Look at them. I need... A wave of drop kicks. You gotta do it. It has to be you. Oh, you. he's gonna remember. Y'all just trip his ass or something. Damn, he's oh, he's, up there. yeah, they, they're already going up there. Go! What's go, going go. Ain't no one else going. 
They can't get there as a hundred. It's versus you. like three hundred. One fifty, one fifty. Damn. Oh, I mean still has a smile on his face. Damn. My shoulder. The pipes. Oh. You know who bought, who's bringing the weapons too? Mm-hmm. The cheap ones. It is. They got twice the numbers and they gotta bring out weapons. He is a zombie, bro. Yo, Drake is really laying it out. <sighs> Move! Yeah, it's tough. I gave him a nice little speech in the beginning. Oh yes! Yes! Look, he's already with them! Yeah. Oh, is he just running faster? Yeah, man. Oh, shit! They start wildly swinging, tripping people! Yeah, there yes. you go! Yes! Yeah! Gotta be smart. Just use your legs. Kick them from underneath. That's why. That's why. So he need. He need. He need like a wave of drop kicks to come running by. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna count on him at this moment. But it's not a bad. It's like yeah, he's. Yeah, he, nah, he did. He tried. To, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's yeah. still doing Hell it. Yeah. Do Hell it. yeah. Shit. Shit. Every, Shit. Everyone oh yeah, he's he just shoving yeah, people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everyone he trips. Takes down, prevents from getting closer. It's a win in my book. No, you're not, fam. It's not over. No, it's not. Oh. Oh no. That's the new the the, the latest. Yeah. We haven't seen him do anything yet until now. There's more than but one. But he can't be the one to save Mikey. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's over. For me, it's like, where you been, though? Yeah, they got no scratches on them. They just be hiding. I'm waiting to figure out if this was part of the plan. That guy's done. <laughs> it's part of the plan. Who is that? Oh, he has it. He has an inside person. Yeah. There we go. That person was told to go after him so that he could become the hero. He just wants to look like the guy that protected Mikey. This is why he can't, he can't be the one to protect him. Politics. No. Damn. There's nothing Drake and, there's nothing else Drake wanna say in this situation. Damn, fuck. That's our ultimate cosign. Oh yes! Come on, land it! Yeah! Oh hell yeah! Took his glasses off! Oh shit. What a shocking turn of events. Baji has been ghost the whole fight too. I didn't realize that. I did actually realize that. I realized it too. I figured he'd show up at this point because his friend just got bodied. Yo, Baji, how do you let yourself get ran up on like that? I'm glad. I'm glad Baji hit Kasaki, but I still don't know if it was in the best. Well, I'm dead, but we came to save him. Yeah, we did come to save him. This dude took no damage. <gasps> Shit! Don't say that shit out loud. Baji be looking like a man, though. Yo, Baji reminds me of? Uh, uh Stone, Dr. Stone? Yeah! I thought the same thing. That's why I said the whole man thing. Yeah! But I can't remember his name. Strongest high schooler on Earth. Yes, sir. If you ain't gonna do it, get out of my face is what Baji's saying. Sukasa. Stare at Sukasa. It's my casa. Oh, a Taki Mach? Taki. Oh, damn, with the spear! For the top rope, JR! The spear! 
Um. Well, don't don't hit him. Restrain him. Look what he's doing. Damn, Takamichi. Honestly, that's my saddest moment for him in a while. Damn. Yo, you saw that? Are you gonna break your own wrist though? He's up. He's missing. Shit! You gotta be kidding! Why would he? Takamichi. Takamichi. So close. So Takamichi. close. <sighs> yeah, he was strained, Baji, technically. What? What? He gonna get stabbed. Yeah, Where's the knife? Definitely. This nigga's crazy. This nigga's crazy. Did he actually save him? How? Did he get him in the arm instead? Like, what's going on? He got stabbed, but... Or did he not get stabbed? Wait, now he says it's a scratch. What the hell is going on? Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> oh shit. This don't go anywhere like I expected. <laughs> Them niggas ain't fall though. Like you. Yo, he has his own reason for wanting to tear out Kasaki. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is. But it's not good. Wait, why do you say that? Where's this Because he's trying to get rid of it. Yeah, Are we ignoring the this stab? Let me show the knife and him. Whoa. Oh shit, I see it. Blind of them. Yo, Let's 10 is gone. Be cheap as possible. I'm gonna pipe in people to damn. Y'all need to keep track of the other guy though. Oh, I'm Cause. with you. Takamichi's always said, staring. They, they, they said he was He's changing the phone. Hanma. Whoever beat me, you hear this, right? You mean Mikey? You forget Mikey? I think that's the big catch. Someone from the future can call him on the phone. Uh, just why even stop? Just keep going. Oh shit! It finally happened. Yeah. The one from earlier. Alright, uh, I understand what's happening. He knew he was on borrowed time. He was lying the whole time. He's like, nah, I'm fine. Thanks, Takamichi. He knew he was on borrowed time, man. He's like, I got three minutes before I bleed out to get this done. That's the only thing I could think of. Cause like, holy hell. Ugh. So two things. One, I know you said every time we see the symbol, I'm just not gonna stress on it too much, but anytime you see the symbol, but I don't think this is a clean or a, a, a proper copy. That's what it was. That's why we were getting thrown off. Cause it should, shouldn't it be showing like Baji gushing on his stomach or something like no, that? No, I know for a fact this is the uncut because it's showing uncensored. symbol. Uncensored. Cause it's the one that, uh, it has a symbol that throws people off. I, I've noticed the difference before. Then the one that doesn't have the symbol, that's the TV version. If it has the Majin symbol, the, you know, the so they still held about. back then, even in potentially yeah. uncensored version. They, they did it on purpose. That's why we didn't see Baji bleeding after the stab. It yeah, wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't too. It wasn't a. Oh, it's too graphic. It was a storytelling piece that you see it happens. Compartmentalize it. Baji looks okay. Baji's going about. Baji's whooping ass. We'll never forget. At the end of the day, he. It happened. 
He's on borrowed time, whether we cared, whether we knew, whether we remembered or not. That's the only way I can read it. That's the only way I can read it. Yeah, I'll just go along with that. It just got kind of made, made me a little worried, but no worries, because there's going to be several times. Like, yeah, what the fuck? So I'll just address it, whatever. Um, Yo, but I think, I think, yo, the big the big takeaway is that cell phone thing, man. That cell phone, He got man. a call in the middle of How it. How are you talking to Hamna if Hamna's down there fighting Drake in? Right? Yes. How are you talking to Hamna if Hamna's down there fighting Drake in? You, who pulls out a cell phone in the middle of a gang fight, takes a call, says Kazator fucked it up? Because at the end, Kazator, at the end of Kazator's line, he's like, Bashi, Bashi, Bashi. The same way he'll say, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. That shit don't line up. And as the fight's going on, even, even Takamichi's clocking it. He's like, nah, this shit's not happening in the right order. Like I said, when you have multiple people that can time travel, if one person's operating that I know I'm not the only person time traveling, and one person's operating, I'm the only person time traveling, whoever's operating that somebody else is doing it too, you're gonna be a few steps ahead, whether you like to admit it or not, because you're gonna see your future's gonna change and you're gonna know why it's changing because somebody else is playing with it. Well, if you don't know somebody else is there, you're just like, the future's changing. Oh my God, what's going on? But the thing, well, the, to me, the thing that's crazy in yours, right, mm -hmm. is I think right now, I'm, I'm entertaining the possibility that Takamichi goes back into the past, that's mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah. But as someone else who can communicate in the past, but actively, basically in real time. Mm -hmm. So. This is a special phone. Yeah. So the fact that like as Takamichi's in the when Takamichi's in the past, he can't correct. No, he, he can't. no longer has future information. Correct. But when if there's someone who can reach back in time with whatever method, yeah, they can correct. This is the same problem. Or with or, or or hypothetically, if it's a person who just keeps going to the present more frequently than Takamichi does, mm -hmm. hypothetically. Mm -hmm. Also, issue. It's hard to tell. It's hard to guess. It's hard all around. But. I think what they did good in this in this episode is they showed that they're like, yeah, we know how this timeline was supposed to go. We see it is not going that way multiple times in multiple ways. And Even, it, keep, it keeps going. No matter the important thing is, is Takamichi tries to change the timeline. There's it, something that keeps one upping his change. Yeah, to get whatever he's trying to avoid to still happen. You know. He has to basically play chess that like, no matter what you do, this is sealed. You you, you don't have enough strategies. But, but it does help though, cause, cause the change is that Baji still dies, right? From from cause his thing. But Baji didn't end up dying like stab wound, like, you know, dead on the floor. He ended up dying trying to get rid of Kasaki. So that will play a role in later on, I assume at least. So how he died. How he died is a little different so that, I mean, he, Nature. I mean, I would assume Mikey's just gonna be like, yeah, he died by cause, I'm not gonna kill cause. Like, he died, you know, cause of cause, he could've, um, he could've lived, you know, like if he, you know, stopped the wound, but he risked his life knowing he was gonna die in the process trying to get rid of Kasaki. And that also draws back to like, why is he trying to get rid of Kasaki? So Mikey's smart, he'll be able to put two and two together and be like, what was so bad about this guy? And then uh, he also, Baji also told, um, Takamichi, like, yo, protect him. Like, it's up to you now. So it's another thing, like, yo, Baji till the end was still with you. I don't know what he wanted to get rid of Kasaki, but whatever it was, he was trying to get rid of him and he died in the process trying to do that, protecting you. So that will help, I think, with Mikey still being a little, you know, sus of him. I got a point of information. I agree. I don't like that Kasaki in his 50 pulls up out of nowhere, wasn't in the battle. Was that intentional? No one's gonna question that. Was that intentional? Takamichi put it together. Well, I'm gonna say that Takamichi put it together because he, he, he put the sequence of events for both viewers and to acknowledge it. He is aware that he is not here. He just wants to protect Mikey. Mm -hmm. He's trying to look good. Someone said but that see, out loud. But see, here's yeah, my question, to look right? Good in front of everyone. Was it intentional? Was it like Mikey's order, like Kasaki? I don't we're think it was. We're gonna go into this fight. See, that's where my beef is. Okay, but I everybody think... knows. But everybody knows. Everybody's like, yo, you had a whole fifty fresh ass motherfuckers, and we're out here throwing hands, and you just come at the last second to protect Mikey. What was you? What uh, was you? from a, 
It, it, when you but, don't, when you so don't. So it wasn't 150 against 300. It was 100 over 100 or 300. Over 300. It's, it's, That's why I'm like, I'm not mad about it. I just wanna, I just was trying to get a point of information. That's it. It's from even from a military point of view, though. I mean, what, what, once we remove the distrust for Kasaki for the reason that Takamichi has given us and yes. stuff like that, it's still not a bad idea in general that. Yo, the battle was going on. We reserved some troops. It's not. And strategically it's not a bad idea. pull no, them in there. No, it's not bad at all. That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, I'm like, if if later on, or if they show us a flashback that Mikey did this very intentionally, then I'm gonna let it go. But if it's one of those things, like my, after this is all said and done, if Mikey didn't tell him to do it, it's almost like, yo, where the hell was you? I don't think Mikey told him to do it because. When Mikey was getting beat know. down and stuff, and everyone was in like awe of it, he did not step in. He waited until Mikey literally fell to his knees after everything, and then they're like, "All right, glory hog." Yeah. Literally just waiting for the last second to get all that you know tension from everyone. Basically. See, because sometimes I'm prone to just missing like little things or something they set up. I'm like, point of information. I just need to know. Am I allowed to be mad at Kasaki right now, or was this an intentional part of the plan? Oh, why'd you be mad at him though? He had fifty fresh suck. Yo, okay. Maybe, Everyone is if you a told me about the battle. If he only had 10 or 15, that's one thing. He had a whole 50. What's his intention? And he wasn't fighting there. What's his intention? To get exactly. everyone from that's home into life. Like that's why I was like, yeah. That's, that's, that's how you that's use your 50. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm like, I need. I, I don't think he's a good guy, but no. if but based on what he did, is like, if his goal is to walk out of here, I'm the nigga that saved him. From a, almost even from a political point of view, Look, from a political view, they don't even like him, right? Nope. But Mikey already acknowledged that he has forces. That's yep. how I need to bring him in. Yep. When Mikey was about to die, so to speak, he enacted. The forces. He brought in the forces. You don't gotta like how he did it, but it supported the time. That's that why that even Draken is looking at him like, damn. Like, damn he, he appreciates that he saved Protect Mikey. Mikey. That, that was all but politics. But I'm one of those people, if I were there, I, my mindset is just like, where have you been this you know whole who time did this? while I'm getting beat down? You know who did this? I mean, I'll, I'll put it really at home, home to you. It's like, yo, we did it twice in this world, bro. Twice in this world. Yo, nigga, you are <laughs> homies was spitting, getting, bro. Homies was getting bodied, and we can dice about it. We don't have to nit, uh, nitpick it, but the point is, the world was getting bodied, and we just kind of was chilling for a bit, and when we saw fit, based on circumstances or whatever, I'm not gonna jump too deep into it, we jumped in. And the world's hero, twice. Yeah, and everyone else's stuff got bodied, and for the most part, other than one base on our on U.S. territory, and that was a, that was a, whatever. Like n didn't take no damage. That's Kasaki. That's. Oh my god. And then god. They, they hero, but now they're gonna uh, have yeah. to stop. Yeah, the moment he said it, I was like, I'm I'm done. Yeah, yeah. From, like from military it, point of view. Yeah, from military. Yeah. I know. That's all I'm like. Objectively, you're right, but I need to hear. I need to know that it was part of a plan. It, anything that has to do with Kasaki, if it came from his side, I don't want that shit. That's why I was like, I need to hear that it was Mikey's idea, or Draken was like, they 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 organized this in the background. Like, it was always no plan. If it's Kasaki operating on his own within the gang, but not within the gang, I'm sorry. I they might you, still do a flashback, I, yeah, though, but like, as of right now, like, I don't Kisaki. care if you saved us. That's dirt, bro. You had 50. You that shit is hard, bro. Whatever the thing on the Hama, phone, call, yeah. phone call was. It was protect Mikey, stab Baji, et cetera, et cetera. It's a phone call. I, I'm almost like, come on. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Uh, full reaction, full discussion. It's going to be on our Patreon. Also, check out our schedule. It's in the description and the pinned comment. Don't miss it. Hit the bell for notifications. Because we post content daily and you don't want to miss out. Rock D. Lee. Director Nasty. Out. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Your boy, Rock Lee. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and give us a follow on this Twitch channel. Appreciate you guys' support. John it. Wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions. Wow.